what if space as we know it is actually made of time mm. right for example right now we are looking at each other right and we know we are existing in our like a time how we know it but when you are considering considering this angle it's basically every material every mass you and me are time anomaly that you know anomaly means that you have some kind of a, a space in time but the, that space is like a moving it's not stationary it's dynamic there is actually like a motion of that space as it goes from as it goes from the origin towards the future and in that three-dimensional space if you for example are spiraling have an object which is spiraling suddenly you create a mass particle and the, that spiraling is also associated <clears throat> with with the electric charge and those are like the the basic uh, items that we think that the space is made made about and so um, it's just a mathematical game or mm. math mathematical playground uh, try to imagine what if the time has three dimensions and once you went into the the equations that you start thinking how would it actually work, right? And uh, so in a reality, we have this problem between the quantum physics and kind of theory of relativity, those large scale versus the small scale. I'm proposing that once you get to a smaller scale, that there is actually one of the other dimensions that is becoming more dominant. Like in a quantum scale, you are not moving in terms of the time in that regular dimension that we know of today, but there is this now transferring into the other dimension and therefore it could explain some of these quantum effects like a dualism of particle versus wave and then on the other end of the spectrum when you go to like a large objects like a galaxy size objects and uh, also very long time scales then uh, th there is a third dimension that is starting to be dominant uh, and this allows you to go quite naturally from this small scale that has one dimension of time into our regular dimension mm. to the to the third dimension i like it because in one equation or one mathematical description you could make this uh, transition from the very small scale into the global big giant scale and that uh, was probably um very interesting present I got from developing the theory that suddenly I could see the connection between the small world, big world, and that everything could be made out of time. 